I have been outside preparing to put in a gravel drive from here all the way back to those bushes way back there. And I like the way you are, and I want it all. So now it is time to get down to business and start working on this driveway here. I just saw a chipmunk over here. <laughs> so aside from these three bushes being torn out, and those two uh, boulders over there in the fence and that tree right there. I need to come back here and this is what I got this thing for because this is, a, is at a slight slope. So if you look back this way, you can see where this is at a slight slope. So I have to grade that. That means I have to dig out some of this flat um, off of this side here all the way back about 60 feet. This is gonna be really interesting. <laughs> I have about nine hours until it gets dark and I have to have this part done today because 12 tons of gravel is coming in the morning. So I'm trying to figure out now, where do I put the ground that I dig out from over here? I mean, my plan was to put it over here um, and just spread it out, but I'm kind of thinking I should have rented like a trailer or something that I could take this stuff um, over to earthen wood or something. I don't know, man. All I know is that I got to get busy and just start doing it. So I think I'm going to stack it here and whatever happens, happens. <laughs> All right, first order of pretending I know what I'm doing. I bought this toe strap so that I could wrap it around the bucket of that thing and each of these trees individually and then just slowly back up and it should just rip them out of the ground. Same thing with those boulders. I'm hoping I can just wrap this around each of those and around this and then slowly back up and it'll kind of pull them loose and then hopefully I can get each of them in one of them buckets. Okay, so I have that strap wrapped around there and then it comes over here wrapped around the front of this thing and i'm going to see if i can rip this thing out of here That appears to have worked nicely and much easier than I thought. Okay, well, that was an enormous job, 
but it is done. Look at this huge pile of junk here that I now have to figure out how I'm going to get rid of. I already put an ad on the uh, Facebook group. See if somebody could come pick it up because I don't want to have to rent a trailer for this stuff. It is not even a very hot day and I am burning up out here. This hat is so soaking wet and dirty. Holy crap, it's a good thing I have like five extras at home. <laughs> It has been a pretty dang productive day so far though. And I say so far because I still have more to do. This looks pretty dang good. But now with the sun on it, you can really see the black weed stop under there. Still looks pretty good, but we're gonna finish that another day. So back here, as you guys have been watching, oh my gosh, I moved the two boulders over here and I ripped out three big bushes, one pine tree, and took out that section of fence back there. That section of fence is probably gonna go back in because once I get the drive in here and we can park back there, I wanna be able to put that fence there and it kinda gives us a little, I don't know, a little bit more privacy, a little partition. So anyways, it is coming along and I need another break. These videos make it look like I do this stuff like boom, 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 boom. This has been hours and hours and hours of work and many, many breaks. <laughs> All right, guys, so I got a guy that says he'll come pick this stuff up. It would be the charge of one day's rental, whatever that means. <laughs> so um, maybe getting rid of that. And I've been working back here. I actually got stuck over here because it's so soft. But once I cover that with gravel, gravel, it'll be okay. I had to put down this piece of plywood to roll over to get back here. And I've been tearing it up back here, probably driving the neighbors absolutely crazy. <laughs> it is coming out pretty good. Uh, obviously, I still have to get all that stuff, but um, it's definitely coming out pretty good. I originally was going to go all the way over here, but man, that is a lot, a lot of dirt. So I've been bringing it back here. I thought that I cut like some kind of a cable line or something when I hit this. It's just a tree branch. Um, but I've been bringing it back here and dumping it in the back um, because we don't need the driveway to come all the way back to those trees there. And that's still on my property. So just dumping it there for now. But it's coming along good. Okay, so this little lady right here just push broomed the whole driveway and then I messed it up again. <laughs> so anyway, I am done for the day. I've done all that my energy will allow. This tomorrow will become the new parking place for Goliath. It looks like such a mess still, but you know what? I think I did a good job, and so does my lady love back there. <laughs> so, I piled it all back there. I wish I didn't have to do that, but you know, I don't know what to do right now with it, so I can deal with that later. The subject at hand is getting the driveway in for the RV, and it's going to come back to about right here, which is a pretty good size drive. Um... If I have more energy tomorrow morning, I might bring it back a little bit farther to about here. But as of right now, that's where I stopped. I'm gonna have to take the hand shovel and square this off here and along the side there all the way up. And uh, this is gonna look really good. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I am absolutely exhausted though. This has been a long, long day. And there's my hat hanging on the tree. Uh, you're coming with me, buddy. 
I'll see you guys tomorrow.